Developing independent learning habits is undoubtedly a challenge. Evidence tells us that building the explicit teaching of metacognition into our daily teaching habits can support students to think about their own learning more explicitly. E4L's Teaching and Learning Toolkit is underpinned by a systematic review of the highest quality global evidence. There is extensive evidence indicating that metacognition and self-regulation approaches can have a very high impact. Helping students to know what to do when faced with a learning challenge can lead to more independent learning behaviours. It will look different for learners of different ages and for different tasks, but teachers will recognise these characteristics in their most effective learners. Adam is stuck. His teacher has asked him to complete a maths problem independently. He doesn't know where to begin, quickly loses motivation and becomes distracted he lacks the confidence to know what to do next. Teachers can support learners like Adam to become more metacognitive in their thinking. Understanding and developing a shared language for the metacognitive process is a key factor in translating the evidence on metacognition into practice. Metacognitive knowledge refers to knowledge of task, the type of activity, knowledge of strategies, what strategies might be useful, and knowledge of self, awareness of our own abilities and emotions. Metacognitive regulation kicks in when we apply and adapt this knowledge to a learning task and can be broken down into three stages. Planning how we are going to tackle the task, monitoring our progress and adapting where necessary, and evaluating our overall success. The arrows are key here, as this is a cyclical process. To understand the way in which teachers can support students to be metacognitive, it's useful to think about what this looks like in practice. Let's look at Adam's thoughts if he were to approach the question metacognitively. First, he will need to activate his knowledge of the task, strategies and self. Last time I solved a similar problem, I drew a visual representation to help me understand it. What are the different ways that I could approach this? What are the advantages and disadvantages of these? I found this bit challenging last time. I need to take my time and check each step as I go. I'll use the available resources to help me if I get stuck. For many students, becoming a self-regulated learner does not happen automatically. Building in questioning habits that support self-regulation is an evidence-based approach for supporting students to become more independent across the curriculum. E4L's Supporting Independence Through Questioning tool offers a good starting point for teachers seeking to help students to plan, monitor and evaluate their learning. Asking Adam if he has seen a similar problem before will remind him to activate his prior knowledge. Inquiring about the steps he will need to take to be successful might prompt him to put a plan in place. Encouraging him to reflect on the success of his chosen approach could result in him trying a different one if needed. Supporting Adam to evaluate the impact of his chosen approaches will help to ensure that his future learning develops because of the metacognitive process. Weaving metacognition teaching habits into our daily practice can help students like Adam to know what to do when faced with a new challenge. E4L's Metacognition Guidance Report offers recommendations to support the implementation of metacognition in schools. While concepts like plan, monitor and evaluate can be introduced generically, the strategies are mostly applied in relation to specific content and tasks and are therefore best taught this way. A series of steps beginning with activating prior knowledge and leading to independent practice before ending in structured reflection can be applied to different subjects and ages. E4L has a number of metacognition tools for teachers, including the seven-step model, a scaffolding framework to deliberately shift responsibility for learning from the teacher to the student, supporting independence through questioning, a tool to support teachers to use questions that encourage students to think metacognitively. And supporting knowledge of self through modelling. A tool to support teachers to plan opportunities to explicitly model self-knowledge. All of these resources are freely available on the E4L website 
e4l.org.au slash metacognition.